Wow, FBI is abusing secrecy powers. Mueller and Rosenstein hid explosive information from Congress for months by Joshua Kaplan for thegatewaypundit.com. With each passing day, it's becoming clear there is more evidence to suggest both former President Barack Obama and failed candidate Hillary Clinton colluded with Russia than President Donald Trump, yet that hasn't stopped both chambers of Congress and special counsel Robert Mueller from investigating Russiagate. In fact, FBI agent Peter Strzok's text messages strongly suggest there was a concerted effort to not only exoriate Clinton of any wrongdoing in her email probe, but remove President Trump from the White House. This is not merely the opinion of one reporter as the Gateway Pundit, but a view held by the lies of former U.S. Attorney Joe DiGenova. Tucker Carlson tonight here, Ashley Hawkins. It's very clear that they conspired to frame the incoming president of the United States, Joe DiGenova, on allegations of anti-Trump bias at the FBI and the Justice Department. What you have now unfolding inside the FBI and the Department of Justice under Obama is a brazen plot to do two things, to exonerate Hillary Clinton because of an animus toward Donald Trump and then if she lost, to frame the incoming president for either a criminal act or impeachment. This is one of the most disgusting performances by the senior officials at the FBI and the Department of Justice, and it demands that every one of these agents involved be fired, and that the people who are still in the Justice Department be fired, including Mr. Orr, and that they impanel a federal grand jury to investigate the conduct of McCabe, and Strzok, and Page, and Comey, and Orr, and everybody in the Obama Justice Department who even touched this, because it's very clear that they conspired to frame the incoming president of the United States. And it's, it's, it's a frightening and disgusting prospect that FBI officials, senior FBI officials, would do this. And those text messages are frightening. They're just frightening. It's very clear that they conspired to frame the incoming president of the United States. Yeah, it was also Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein and Mueller. Strzok's anti-Trump text messages would have never seen the light of day. Wall Street Journal's Kimberly Strassel writes that not only is the FBI abusing secrecy powers, but led an effort to hide key information from Congress for months. Strassel writes in the Wall Street Journal via Town Hall, uh, the FBI has plenty of things it needs to keep secret regarding national security and law enforcement. Let's even acknowledge the Bureau may be rightly concerned about turning some information over to today's leak-prone Congress. Even so, in the specific case of its 2016 election behavior, the FBI is misusing its secrecy powers to withhold information who, whose disclosure is in the public interest. But when did the FBI dig up and turn over that, that very first tranche? Uh, how long has the Bureau known one of its lead investigators was exhibiting such bias? Was it before Mr. Mueller was even appointed? Did the FBI leaders sit by as the special counsel tapped Mr. Strzok? In any case, we know from the letter that the Inspector General info informed both uh, Messers, Deputy uh, Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, and Mueller of the text on July 27, and that both men hid that explosive information from Congress for four months. The Justice Department pleading secrecy defied subpoenas that would have produced the text. It refused to make Mr. Strzok available for an interview. It didn't do all this out of fear of hurting national security, obviously. 
It did it to save itself and the FBI from embarrassment. Strassel's searing piece follows Rosenstein's uh, testy hearing before the House Judiciary Committee last Wednesday, where, among other things, the Justice Department official refused to answer if the FBI funded the now discredited Trump dossier. You, you believe what's going on and exactly what uh, he said here. He, they, he should be fired. Did Genova is absolutely correct. You see the criminals in charge? Do you see them? These are the criminals. They should be thrown in jail for treason against this country. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.